を始めようか、oh, Welcome back everybody and I know it's been a long time、uh, I'm never consistent you guys should be used to that right by now、uh, so we're going to make Neoki today and it's going to be a long video buckle up with your popcorn and your cokes、uh, we're going to take some potatoes boiled potatoes going to mash them any kind of potato would do i would prefer a pretty starchy kind of potato like a russet so that's what i'm going to be using here peeled and mash those potatoes up with a potato masher and we you will add some salt to it and if my voice seems pretty weird it's because i'm under the weather i'm kind of sick that's why now we're going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of flour I added five. Depends on how starchy your potatoes are. Mine weren't that much. Just use a spatula and roughly mix the thing. Then add two eggs. All right, should be a nice big egg at at room temperature to be specific, precise. Yeah. Mix it with your hands. Then. Put it on a work surface. In my case, it was the chopping board. So yeah. Use a spatula to just roughly mix and put it in one place. Add your second egg. Mix it up once again. And now. Add some more flour if you feel that the mixture is too wet. In my case, it was so I added more flour. And now put it onto the countertop, or in my case, the chopping board. Any big surface, clean surface would do. And now get your hands dirty. Use your hands to just knead the dough. Add a tiny bit of more flour. Not all the flour is going to incorporate, so just keep that in mind. Need it for about ten to twenty minutes, depending on how chewy you like your nookies. I like them pretty chewy, so I did it for fifteen minutes, fifteen to twenty minutes. And this is better footage to keep that in mind. That's not how fast my forearms go. And if there's some kind of potato in between that you think isn't cooked through, just take it out like I did right now. And keep on kneading it till time you it has formed into a cohesive dough, a cohesive mixture like that. Form it into a tot ball and roll it up. Knead it down. Keep kneading it till you feel it's done, and you'll feel that when the dough kind of bounces back when you press it. So now the dough is about done, and you have to keep it to rest for at least an hour. I did for two hours for the dough to hydrate. So now we are going to move on from the dough to our sauce. This the first sauce that we are going to do is a meat-based sauce. It's particularly a chorizo sausage and bell pepper sauce. Pretty acidic and fatty in nature, which it really helps. I am using chorizo sausage for this. Cut up the sausage. Remove the skin of the sausage. First, uh, be like do if you're store if you store the sausage in the freezer, please thaw it properly before using it. And use a cleaver, not a chef's knife. I was a uh, that was my mistake. Use a cleaver to just mince up the chorizo. Cut both sausage into slices and just mince it up. Go ham on this. Like that, and that's your mixed up chorizo, minced up. Sorry. Now take you're going to take out a pan.
that's a stainless steel pan i would prefer for uh, just use stainless steel pan there's a much better crust formed on on the chorizo it makes it a little more crispy yeah we like it crispy uh turn on the gas and let the pan heat up a little bit before you go before you add your oil although there's no need to add oil i just i'm a little precautious and add a little bit of oil before enough that it covers the bottom of the pan and add a chorizo in chorizo would release its own fat as well so keep that in mind before adding a little oil Now we're going to let that sit and make form a crust. Then let's move on to the vegetables. Onion, one red onion. Peel it off, wash it up, and chop it up. Rough chop, nothing much. Just a rough slice. Keep stirring your chorizo as well so that it doesn't really stick up. All right, then our tomatoes. Two tomatoes should be fine. I'm going to mince dice, mince the tomatoes, not dice them. And yeah, guys, I'm under the weather, so please, I'm sick. My voice is pretty weird right now. Dice up your tomatoes, then your bell pepper. Uh, do cut it from the flesh side because the skin side won't like you will have a little bit of trouble cutting it through. But if your knife is sharp enough, you should. I mean, the flesh side is a little easier. And one tomato should be enough. Depends on the amount of chorizo you are using and the amount of sauce you want. That will do. It will be good. Now you put in the onions uh, first. In and don't put the garlic first in because it will burn definitely. So put in the onions first. Stir it up. And when the onion and chorizo are done, put them on the side, and then add the other veggies. Don't let that fawn on the beneath burn. Use the same fat left by the chorizo and fry up your tomatoes and your bell peppers. Let them sit uh, for a few minutes and stir occasionally. You can deglaze this with a with oh, wine or chicken stock or any like pretty much any liquid. Do add salt to these like I did. I use Himalayan salt, Himalayan pink salt. Pretty great flavor. Love the flavor of that salt. I deglaze this with water. Uh, cause. I didn't have chicken chicken stock, <laughs> so yeah, water would do perfectly fine. Do add more salt, uh, depending on how much water you did add. Yeah, that should be fine enough. Now I added some lemon for more acidity. I wanted this to be a little acidic thing because chorizo is pretty fatty. So yeah, an acidic sauce with the meat would be really great. Now let that simmer off so it thickens like that should look like that and in the, in, in the background that is the mushroom sauce in the green pan that's simmering don't worry we are going to get to that in a few minutes now with this done you are going to add back your onion and chorizo mix with this added mix it up and keep it on the heat and we are going to move on to the next sauce which is 
a creamy mushroom sauce which is personally my favorite one out of these two all right stir it stir this up a bit let it combine let the flavors get uh mixed up and let them get to know each other all right it's a thick sauce it's more of kind of a um it's rather than a sauce it's no yeah it, 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 it is pretty sauce yeah sorry it is pretty sauce now we are going to mix, move on to the mushrooms the mushroom creamy mushroom sauce and yes those are portobello mushrooms might not look at them <laughs> look a little weird i watched them up so and dried them up so they became a little flat but yeah those are portobello mushrooms because any mushrooms you want shiitake shimaji button mushrooms would work any mushroom would work even blue oyster mushrooms would work in this sauce so use these portobello mushrooms I have a few four just dice them up then get a pan heat it up with some oil or butter I would say if you really want to make it a fatty one use butter I'm using right now I'm using oil not butter and fry these mushrooms up you want some sort of a crust formed on these mushrooms uh, that crust would have like would make it a little crispy crispy right crispy and it would overall have a good textural differences and yeah these will stick to the pan mushrooms do stick to the pan so keep stir them vigorously let them sit for a few minutes stir them uh, stir them vigorously let them sit for a few minutes right Now add the garlic, a little bit of garlic, because mushroom and garlic is the best option, the best combination ever, in my opinion, of course, and my opinions are of course the best opinions, they are right, always. Mix them up and don't let the garlic burn. Now add the cream, mix it up, it, it's going to be a little thick, you have to add some other things like a mushroom stock or water, or straight up milk if you want. But yeah, this, even this is a good sauce. I added water because again, I had no mushroom stock <laughs> and added some more cream for fun. I let that boil simmer off, let the mushroom flavor get into this. And then we are going to add uh, some herbs into it, mainly oregano. So yeah, first let this simmer off and stir occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Mushrooms do tend to stick at the bottom. Sauce would tend to go a little brown because of the mushroom's color, but don't worry about that. It'll be fairly white. Now, with the sauce simmering, add your herbs like oregano or stuff like that. Whatever herbs you want, uh, oregano or parsley or any kind of uh, fresh herb would go well. Even thyme and rosemary. Just don't put in basil. I do think basil goes more well with red sauces than white. Also, yes, I did add Himalayan sea salt to this as well. Now, with the dough rested, fully hydrated, put it out on a work surface. If you let it rest too much, it will become a little more hydrated. So, flour the wax surface. I used a little too much flour. So, that led my nokis to be a little too starchy. And also, do size on nokis well. Please do size on nokis well. Right here, you can look a little too much flour I use. Now just keep rolling this into a big kind of dough snake thingy. Turn to half, save the other half and roll the other half into one more long dough snake thingy. 
do however you want you could even make it into a torpedo shape if you want but yeah uh make it a dough snake thingy <laughs> yeah make it a dough snake thingy uh <laughs> now i should have done it even more longer and should have made my nose a little bit small too small because they would increase in size keep that in mind i didn't keep that in mind also immediately just put them in flour this would stick a lot and if you think the nook is some nook is too big just cut them in half as well i should have done that with every one i didn't <laughs> but yeah keep your nook is small and dust them in flour also before putting into water please please remove the excess flour i didn't that was my mistake please don't repeat that please don't repeat that focus on what i say rather than what i do <laughs> right uh yeah so now get your water boiling not boiling boiling but let it simmer get a little hot and since this is a fresh nook it will only take probably 30 seconds not more than that to get done and how do you know if it's done they'll rise up but since i didn't remove the excess flour now the water is cloudy with flour so i don't know if it's done or not so it it becomes a little harder although i did kind of I had a fluke here and nailed it but yeah <coughs> sorry yeah also they would be a more ye ye yellow color when they are little more yellowish when they are done so yeah let that stay and do do will done 30 seconds so we going to move on to our plating with the plating immediately when these are done put them into ice water and take a plate and uh, first of all take some paper towels and your portion size that you want to serve drain uh, just dry them up with some with some paper towel and put it back in on the plate after cleaning it right set them nice and perfectly all right on the center in the side whichever you want i'm doing it on a little kind of the sideways per se do your hands this no issue if your hands are clean it's no issue now putting your sauce in this is the mushroom sauce just put it half over the thing and let the other sauce just flow through the plate right little more sauce on the other side so that things that is submerged and it looks pretty pretty top it off with some cheese i'm using going to use some cheddar cheese to top this off because it's nice and sharp and i love the flavor and gives a good color contrast between the yellow also put up a wedge of lemon because acidity makes everything better in my opinion and my opinions are always right get up some cheddar cheese over the top give it some little nice contrast in colors and flavors and sharpness and that's the cream of mushroom new keys one of my favorites now similar thing doing it with the fatty chorizo sauce It's, it's it isn't that sauce it's it's more on the thicker side thick with triple c's let's put that in and add lemon and tomatoes because tomatoes would genuinely make this like if you have it on the side it's, it's just too good it's amazing all right just amazing i love it another some veggies of lemon and that's your fatty chorizo little dramatic thing there and yeah so if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you learn something please share the video and do comment for what should i do next and uh if anything you want me to add to these videos that would help a lot thank you and we'll meet the next time